Hello, it's Rhonda Lee, Barefoot Artist, and I'm going to share with you a little bit about something very simple that you can do to help in your cleansing process. In fact, it's so simple, it's such a no-brainer that a lot of times people forget about it. So I've got this little tiny mini presentation for you on peppermint, pretty much as just a little reminder of something that's very abundantly widely available for everyone that you can use uh, you know sometimes whenever you get caught up in the process you forget and so this is a little reminder of something that you can do to help ease a cleansing process and you should be able to find this most people should be able to find this very easily so we're going to look at our peppermint Here's a picture of peppermint. Woo! So you can identify it. You can find this in every grocery store. You can get fresh peppermint. Um, if you can't get fresh peppermint, surely you can get some dried peppermint. You, it, if you can grow it, it's, it's, it grows abundant. It, it just goes like crazy. So what are some of the uses that you can do with fresh peppermint? Well, you can chew on it and you can eat it. You can add it to a salad and then you can add it to juices and smoothies, which I'll get to that in a minute. Anyway, the fresh peppermint is really fantastic to ease nausea that some people may experience. It's good to settle your stomach um, and help soothe out any type of discomfort. And I have used it a good bit and sometimes I've been known to absolutely forget that this is something that I can add to a cleanse because it's just, it's so easy. You don't even think about it. Let's go to the next thing. We're going to look at peppermint tea. Now, dried peppermint leaves that you can buy in bulk. Plenty of resources online to get organic dried peppermint leaves or you can get organic peppermint teas. Also, something else that's just very abundant that you can find in most grocery stores. If you can't find it, I promise you, you can order it. Any health food store will have it. And this is a good way, you know, it can help if you're having um, issues with digestion, of course, like you would do with the fresh. It's good to, uh, if you're having issues with bad breath that can come along with detox. And then also you can you can um, add it dried to some recipes as well, which I do. Sometimes I'll chop up some apples and put dried peppermint on if I don't have any, if I don't have any fresh on hand. It's something you can just keep in your house at all times. But yet again, something that you probably might overlook whenever you get into the throes of some detox. I have next is, let's see, let's get rid of me so you can see this completely. A little recipe of some stuff that I like to throw together. A peppermint um, soother. And you can do this as a juice or as a smoothie. And this is just really easy. Two cups of fresh pineapple, an inch of fresh ginger, and a handful of fresh peppermint leaves. You can throw all that through the, uh, through the juicer. Pour it on top of ice or not. That's optional. Um... If you don't have fresh peppermint leaves, you can make peppermint tea and then juice the pineapple and the ginger and then mix the two together as well. Or if you want a smoothie, blend all the ingredients together and some ice with it. And then you have a nice cold smoothie with peppermint in it. The ginger is also good to soothe your stomach, but I'm not going to concentrate on that for this um, presentation. I just want to focus on the peppermint. And sometimes I like to add a little bit of sparkling water if I make it as a smoothie to just kind of dilute it, make it a little, a little festive, a little something nice, just to change up things a little bit, give yourself a little treat, a little reward for doing such a great job on your cleanse. Now the last aspect that I want to cover of peppermint is peppermint essential oil. Now peppermint essential oil is something that you can find widely available also any store that sells 
any type of essential oil, they're going to have peppermint. It's just so readily available that you can find it. You can order it off the internet. You can have it on hand. It's a beautiful thing to have. You can add it with a carrier oil. And if you're having headache symptoms, it's fantastic to put it on your temples. I like to put it on the back of my neck. Um, and I find that to be very soothing, not only if you're having a headache, but if you're having neck pain. In the past, I have actually had neck pain a good bit during some of my detoxes. And I would put some peppermint oil on the back. With, when you want to make sure I have it with a carrier oil, a coconut oil or an olive oil. I could get into a whole wide variety of carrier oils, but just something simple, as long as you have the peppermint essential oil you can add and, and apply that and that can help ease pain and discomfort from headaches and pains you know such as a neck ache and also it's really fantastic to reduce stress just by inhaling it and respiratory issues as well if you're going through some congestion or something like that in the detox process now another thing about peppermint oil I've done a lot of research on it in fact when I was in graduate school I did my entire thesis was on using peppermint oil with um, low incidence populations particularly uh, individuals with autism and I won't even get into all of that but I just I'm just amazed at how something this simple and abundant can pack such a powerful punch and a lot of times you just don't think about it so I really have done a lot of research with it and I just wanted to touch on a few highlights of something that you could do during the cleansing process if you might need a little pick-me-up and and that's okay if you do sometimes you need a little pick-me-up just to ease your stomach get rid of a headache get rid of the blast it's a fantastic way to do it. So this is a little, little reminder of something easy that you can whip out of your back pocket and use to help you enjoy your cleanse even further. So good luck. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Love you. Bye.